living dangerously as a boy in Govan in 1946. As a pensioner looking back, I often wonder how I reached this age after some of the escapades we were involved in. Just after a war, like walking to Linthouse to play in the sunny desert as we called the magical playground with bits of boats and planes and other rubbish. There was a large quarry there full of water and scrap. We made rafts and floated about in the water. It was very dangerous when you look back on it. Treacherous surface. This is now the site of the White Inns Tunnel. Hudgies. Now that's the name to conjure with, hanging on to the back of buses and lorries as they sped along Langlands Road. Most times you could only hang on with your fingertips to the number plate at the back of the bus with your feet on the ridge at half an inch wide. The conductor would be leaning out trying to kick you to get you fall off the bus. One time two of us hung on to the back of a lorry delivering ice cream, lumps of ice to Lombardi's ice cream shop in Ethan Street. The lorry went so fast we couldn't jump off and finished up in Bitton Brick Road at the back of Bellhousen Park. Dreeps, another Glasgow word. This entailed hanging on to the edge of a wall. It could bend up to 15 feet above the ground. You could edge along with your hand over hand. So you got to the place where you couldn't go any further and then you just let go and fell to the ground. Nathan Street, where I lived, had particularly good walls for this. Harmony Road School and the chain works probably about 12 or 15 feet high or more. Nathan Street also had a wall dividing the back courts and boys used to stand on each side of the wall and lob cans and bricks and any other rubbish that was lying about over the wall. You couldn't see what was coming so one time I wasn't fast enough to, to get out of the road and I got hurt with bricks in my eyes and my head and I finished up at the Southern General. I got 12 stitches from my trouble. I've still got the visible scars to this day, 60 odd years later. Playing on top of shelters that the meant that you were risking the falling off, but no serious injuries. Although one time I didn't collapse under two of us, and I managed to jump clear, but my friend was buried under the rubble. Some men from a pitch and toss school took him out after a quick inspection. He was declared OK, so we scarpered before the police came. No health and safety to bother with in these days.